Hey, this is Dylan at Smarty Resource. I'm here today to show you how to update with UDC. The first thing we're going to want to do is go over to the MADS Electronics website. From here, we head over to Downloads. If you scroll down, you'll notice there's all the tuners here. Normally, the old process, you would select your tuner and install a couple things and download a couple more things. Uh, but with UDC, it's much better and it's all kind of wrapped up into one package here. And you'll notice under Software, you have the Smarty UDC Software Setup. Go ahead and grab that guy. Uh, if it gives you the option with Internet Explorer, you can run it instead of save it. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference. And it'll probably ask you, it can't be verified, go ahead and just run that. Okay. Uh, There's a pretty generic uh, installer there. Go ahead and read all that if you'd like. Accept the terms, click next. And you'll notice it's waiting here. There's going to be a pop up in just a second asking. Uh, whether I really go through it, obviously you're going to want to select a yes. And it goes through that. Okay, now that that's all installed, you'll notice there is now two icons on your desktop. Uh, the Smart USB Update Program and the Smart UDC SW. You can ignore that uh, USB program for now, the Smart UDC will open it up for you later. Now normally when you first install this, it'll have a pop-up window that kind of shows, that wants you to give it the information about company, name, and all that kind of stuff. That part's optional. I'll show you what it'll look like just so you know. You'll have this guy come up here. So what you do once you're all done with that is you'll notice on the top you got File Edit View Smarty. You're going to want to select that Smarty, and there's a Smarty Update Manager. Go ahead and open that guy up. Now normally the detect button will detect your Smarty, however, it only will work if you have a UDC compatible file. Uh, just for simplicity's sake, I would go ahead and save that for when you are have updated this already. Uh, and guarantee you after this update it will work next time. But for now, go ahead and select your model. Uh, the example we're going to use today is the SO6 POD just to show you some of the differences. Uh, it'll show you multiple updates. Now the first one, as you'll notice, is the Revo software, 03 to 07. And the other one is the TNTR software. Just as a general rule, I would look in this comment section to be sure you got the right update. Usually uh, will be pretty right for you. So go ahead and hit download. Usually goes pretty quick. The files aren't terribly big. And you'll notice down here, it says My Documents, Smarty UDC, Firmware is in the file name. Uh, keep that in mind in case the next part does not show you the Smarty file up there. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Once that's downloaded, go ahead and hit Update. And so here at the top, it says File SO6PV411E underscore UTS01C.SMT. Yours won't be that exactly. The key thing to note here is if you have a file name that you probably won't recognize or if you were paying attention, looked up and saw there, uh, it'll have an SMT at the end also. I have noticed on some cases when I was updating people that it'll just have your users folder there to look at and it won't actually point to the right file. Uh, if that is the case, you go ahead and hit open. And this is where it should point you normally, but uh, in the case I just described, you will be probably about right here. So what you want to do is you go to My Documents, you go to Smart UDC, Firmwares, and then it has the files you're going to want. Now yours will probably only be just the one you downloaded, because I've downloaded all of these ones previously. Uh, but you'd say select that one and hit open. And all you have to do here is have your Smarty plugged in and press the send button. Uh, I'm not going to because I don't have a Smarty here with me to plug in. Otherwise, I would be showing you what's going to happen. It'll do. It'll say erasing memory. Please wait. 
usually about 20 minutes depending on the smarty and after that you'll be done so thanks for watching and uh, there's how you update smarty with UDC thanks